He's Johnny people trying out of Whole Foods. Not only that, but they learn hey, English you mean, too. You mean us? Hey. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Food Court Deli Journey episode of Fung Bros Food. Today, we are hitting up one of the classic grocery stores that everybody knows. We are talking about Albertsons. Albertsons is from Boise, Idaho. Shout they out don't to Boise, know Idaho. If you guys know, we are from Seattle. Seattle is in Washington State. Washington State is right next to Idaho. Known for its fried chicken, we're actually gonna be eating it today, along with a whole bunch of other items. I actually have not tried the deli section, though, but I do grocery shop there. Man, you had got, me at fried chicken already. We got chicken and potatoes and salads and bees and Albertson's Deli. Let's, Let's go. go. Starting off, David, we got the fried chicken. Woo! Hold on, let me. I gotta. Oh, you just gonna rip it. Allow me. Oh, we, <laughs> you did the Chinese ribbon spin. All right. <laughs> this was always the best chicken growing up from all the supermarkets. Look at this nice piece of white meat chicken. Mm. All right. Even the breast is pretty juicy. By the way, we got this on special, $8. It came with eight pieces, a pound of mac salad, and some rolls mm. for like $8.99. It's juicy, it's flaky. Yeah, I'd give it a juiciness level, seven out of 10. I love the amount of batter that it has. I love the seasoning. What I personally don't like is uh, the skin is more on the flaky side compared to like a crispy side. Quality's there, it's light, it's crispy, it's oily, but it's not too oily. The only thing I can see is it doesn't have enough seasoning. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of five. A four out of five, there's gotta be a little bit more room for improvement. I'm very harsh when it comes to the fried chicken because I like a lot of fried chicken. I'm giving 3.5 out of five. We're going on to the baked chicken. Most baked chickens at the supermarket to me are not that flavorful. Albertson's baked chicken, let's do it. Dope. The smoky flavor is strong. I just like to eat the skin, man, because the skin has all the flavor. I actually give that one 4.5 out of 5 again. I'm gonna give this 4 out of 5. It tastes better. One thing I think it lacks is the skin is a little chewy. I might have to go 4.5 out of 5. Basically, you can buy anything at an Albertsons and delicious fried chicken. This Albertsons in particular has a chicken station. That's it actually right, has a little man. stand, a kiosk, where it has like, I don't know, eight different types of things. We got the JoJo potatoes coming at $3.99 a pound. Some places oh. don't call them JoJo's. What do they call them? Potato wedges? Yeah. yeah. JoJo's, potato wedges. Soft texture. Not too dry. But like it's lacking in flavor, seasoning. It's really soft. No, you get a lot of potato flavor. Yeah. I've never seen anybody eat a JoJo that way. That is crazy. <laughs> Yo, you peel that what? Like a potato. You skinned the potato. I give the JoJo's a four out of five. I give them a 3.5 out of five. I give it a three out of five. Okay. okay. Hey guys, cheers with the Arizona real quick before we continue. For Arizona drink. Yeah, Arizona. Is it crazy that it's been 99 cents for like forever? No, I challenge you, sir, with the spicy chicken tender. Ah, the spicy. We got the blue cheese. Ooh. These are $6.99 a pound. The spicy chicken tender from Albertsons. Let's go. You know, growing up, we would never get these because they were too expensive. Uh huh. This is my least favorite style of chicken tender with all this thick batter. It literally looks like the thing. What's that thing from Fantastic Four? Uh, you can see how thick the breading is. Look at how much weird little batter is on here. I give it a 2.5 out of five. Two out of five for me. The flavor's not bad. True, yeah. But since yeah. I hate this style, one, one out of five. It, one out of five. I hate, wow. look at this. One out of five. One out of five. Right. I hate, I just hate this style of chicken tender. That's like an all time low. It, it almost you know, looks like uh, the thing, you know, like from Fantastic Four. I just, I said that like two minutes ago. I explained exactly <laughs> that, that entire that whole thing. That's, That's crazy funny. that you were not listening to me. We are on to I'm the passionate. regular original flavored chicken I'm tender. Not like this. That's a really weird aftertaste. The batter is so thick, it has this weird yeah. soft chalkiness to it. I have chicken tenders in like hospital cafeterias that taste better than that. Like to give this a 1.5 out of 5. 1.5 for this one. Man, 1 out of 5 save for me. Uh, you know, Albertsons, you guys have home runs. You guys have some unicorns in the fried chicken and the baked chicken. This is a strikeout, bro. Is, All right, guys, we got three different styles of chicken wings. We got teriyaki, we got buffalo, and we got buffalo blue cheese. Looks like a lot of meat, looks like a lot of juiciness. All right, All right so I'm gonna eat my chicken wing by twisting it, pulling out the bone. If it pulls out nicely, that's how I know the chicken is juicy and tender. So oh, I break it at the joint. It's kind of hard. It was okay. I give that twist out uh, six and a half or seven. I mean, this, this is not the hottest wing either. You know, for me, I've always been just into eating it kind of just a regular way. Yeah. 
very sweet. Very saucy. Teriyaki flavor, not too much batter. I can tell that these wings were pretty much fried nearly naked, meaning that there's not a lot of batter on it, if any at all. I give it a three out of five. I was gonna give it a three out of five too. Oh. I give it a 3.5 out of five. The flavor was like kinda on the outside. This is a salt and vinegar wing. This might be the first time I've ever had a salt and vinegar chicken wing. Yeah, because I was confused. I was like, I thought they'd make it for like Yeah, that is chips. true. That is, that's yeah. a good point. Salt and vinegar chicken wings. I, I'm going with the three out of five. I actually thought the teriyaki was better. I, I got to give this 3.5 out of five for the creativity. It was nice to get that little uh, vinegar briny taste from a chicken wing. I give it a three out of five, one notch or half a notch below the teriyaki. I did like the batter of the chicken wing. All right, moving on. We got buffalo, buffalo wing. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. Literally. I thought they were really moist. I thought the flavor seeped in there are like okay. Last chicken wing, guys. Let's see. Buffalo blue cheese. So this is supposed to have the blue cheese flavoring built in. Buffalo blue cheese. I don't think I get my rating. Uh, I taste more cheese than I do buffalo, though. I got to give this a 2.5 out of 5. A very 2 out of 5. Surgical. This Whoa. is my reasoning. Because wow. there's certain parts of the seasoning on the wing that have no seasoning and other sections had a butt ton. What is your favorite wing? Buffalo. Teriyaki. Teriyaki. Teriyaki chicken wing is the winner at the Albertsons Chicken Station Battles. Yo, oh, we man. have one more real little extra we threw in. What? Honey sriracha chicken skewers. Thing. This is from the cold deli section. These are fully cooked, but not fresh. I'm just gonna have a piece. There is not enough honey nor sriracha in that no, to call it a honey enough. sriracha, man. Oh, I gotta go back in the bag. I took a... Honey sriracha chicken. Kinda process what the taste It like. was whack, it was whack, it was whack. 0.5 out of 5. I don't think I ever came to rate it. It just wasn't good. All right, this is not at every Albertsons, I believe, but they have oh, it this here. This is tri-tip. Tri-tip. You can work. see the seasoning right here. Look how burnt that is. Oh, I like that. 11.99 pounds, that's not cheap. Tri-tip. Even though it's been sitting around a little bit, it's actually still pretty juicy. Tri-tip got a lot of connective tissue. As you can tell, look at this skin. Oh, look at how all that. Oh yeah, I love eating the burnt parts just a little bit, just to get a little bit of flavor. It's really not that good for you though. Three out of five for me. If we're gonna dip it in the sauce, four out of five. I had a piece when it was fresh, 3.5 out of five. It's five. worth getting. Four out of five. We have the rib pop. I don't know how they make it like this, but I've seen them do chicken pops and essentially they push all the chicken meat into one corner pork, pork rib, rib pop. Like uh, sweet and sour sauce. You know, I think if you're really like a fan of like barbecue and stuff like that, this is not a great option because this is kind of like a kid's way. Kids, they call it a pop. Come on. Come on, rib pop. This is like for a baby. Just, yeah, mid pat. Yeah. 1.5 out of 5. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was gonna give it a 2.5 out of 5. Like, Dang. I could definitely see some people enjoying it. This is like one step towards like Wally future to me. You know what I mean? Boo! Two out of five. We got an array of salads from the, from the cold, cold deli. deli. And you know when you go to the cold deli, there's like a billion different salads. We're having these deli battles. We're ranking them. We're gonna be basically telling you which ones we like and we would recommend you get. Because there are so many options when you go to the deli. Potato salad versus macaroni salad. Potato salad. Potatoes are soft. Got a little crunch from the relish inside of it. All right, let's scoot them macaroni salad. It's so, just more interesting. For Team so, Mac, this Mac is not good though. This Give is not honest opinion. There are too many pickles in this macaroni salad, man. Yeah. I think the winner is the once in a lifetime victor. Potato <sighs> salad, to be potato, potato salad. One. salad. In my right hand, I have the seafood salad. And then I have the ambrosia salad, which what is that? I don't know what this is. I think it's Is that fruit. the one with the grapes in it? I think it's a fruit cocktail salad. Does, it have, a, does it have a description? Seafood salad from Albertsons. It's all imitation crab meat. Oh, it's just all crab meat. Yeah. yeah. I thought there were like some other stuff. All right, I'm gonna try the ambrosia salad. I mean, I don't know if it's fair to compare like a seafood salad with a fruit salad. I like the ambrosia salad. Ambrosia, ambrosia salad. salad. Ambrosia salad. Ambrosia salad. Easy victory. We have the salad tuna premium uh, egg salad. Our tuna salad. I like it, taste-wise, texture-wise. A little watered down slimy. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for the egg salad? Egg salad. Nope. Eggy. Nope. Very nope. eggy. Nope. Nope. Yo, that wasn't it, Chief. I'm rolling with the tuna. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Tuna, 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 tuna. I like egg salad, but not that <laughs> one. That one, not. Y'all killing me. I'm feeling You know how there's a lot of, like, immigrant ladies who work at the deli yeah. at Albertsons? Yeah. Maybe for the chicken, <laughs> 
they know how to make the chicken as good or if not better than the recipe. But when it comes to these like non native, non, non of their native, native not recipes. of like things they would eat with their family, it's hard to prepare. Not the traditional stuff. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine some like maybe whiter grannies know how to cook yeah, this. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I think, advanced, you know I think I mean? these are like some granny recipes. In my left hand, I have Caesar bow tie pasta salad. I got basil pasta with sun dried tomatoes. Caesar bow tie pasta. Honestly, I expected a more of a Caesar flavor. A little bland, a little, a little bland. bland. All right, let me try basil. Oh, the oh, basil one's good. Uh, yeah? I'm back in the game. I'm alive. Oh. Get the basil with sun-dried tomato. You got the flavor. That's probably the best salad we ate so far, actually. Dried tomato one, hands down. Right now, agreed. Disagree? Wow! Explain yourself! I would like the plaintiff, the acidic flavor of it. Not a fan. The basil salad had too much flavor going on. Rewind it back. It was like, <laughs> it was like boom this way, boom that way. If it was just all booming the same direction, it would have been good. It's like you got sour and sweet and then savory and there's like too much going on. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what, Nell? I know why you don't like it. Because it tasted like a vegetable. <laughs> That's why you didn't like it. It's too healthy for it me, It tasted man. healthy. I, I wanted, it tasted healthy. I stay with the Caesar, man. The Nelson has never claimed that he likes vegetables, though. I like broccoli. We have salad broccoli and then we have summer slaw. Broccoli salad. I'm going with the summer slaw, guys. I don't know about you. Summer, summer slaw, slaw no. is better than refreshing. the refreshing. It's a lot more refreshing. Yeah. It's a lot more refreshing. Summer slaw. Oh. Summer, summer, summer slaw. Summer, summer slaw. slaw. We got in my left hand <laughs> Waldorf salad, and then we got the caramel apple crunch salad. Waldorf. Oh, is that one? Mm -hmm. Cinnamony, right? The caramel apple crunch was delectable. I like them both. Five ninety nine on the Waldorf, six ninety nine on the apple crunch. Caramel apple. I'm going with the Waldorf because to me the caramel apple stepping in the dessert category. Waldorf salad wins two out of one. So here's the thing for the meatball. We're just gonna determine whether you should get it or not. Let's eat this. Damn, man. Not freaking bad, man. You know, with a little bit the of- The texture um, is a little mushy and not as, you know, compact. A lot of good spices. Yeah. It's not really the best meatball I've had. It was definitely one of the biggest. I'd say the flavor was strong, man. I'll, flavor I'll, was good. I'll give it a four out of five. I'm rolling against it. You guys with it. Two Ooh. to one, meatball. Two to solid. one, get the meatball. They have the cream uh, horn. Cream eclair. Creme de la creme pouf. Chocolate cheesecake. What are your major takeaways and what was your favorite thing before we get into this dessert? Chicken. Yeah. The fried See? chicken. Or the, fried the, chicken. You know, the baked chicken. Obviously chicken wings. The baked chicken probably my favorite. But yes, if it was a salad, it would be the caramel apple. I would like to uh, change my score for the fried chicken and the baked chicken to both a five out of five. Why? Well, Why? I just wanted some stuff to get a five. Before we accept your change, I have to go discuss this with the committee. We accept your score change, David. You are granted this time. The fried to the chicken and the baked chicken, I both give them a five. All right. Okay, that's fair. But, but outside of the chicken, basil pasta. Oh, the tri-tip. I'm rolling with the ambrosia salad. Surprisingly, I like summer slaw. The JoJo's. Oh! Oh. Okay. You know what? You're not with the JoJo's. Damn. You wasn't with the, the JoJo's. I was with the JoJo's. JoJo's for life, man. Nah, let's take us out. Yes, sir. I know it's the same company, but Safeway's cream horns are better. No go on the chocolate cheesecake. Yeah. Too chocolatey and not that much cheesecake flavor. The cream horn, very solid. In my opinion, guys, cheap cheesecake is almost never good. Grocery stores are so huge. They definitely help dictate like what kind culture. of stores you see. Yeah, culture. You know, Albertsons was bringing it on the chicken end when I was growing up. 2019, they still bringing it. I was impressed on how big of a selection they have. Essentially, Albertsons has a buffet inside of it. But I've got to meat. buffets Saturday. that have less options than Albertsons. Reviewing all this food, it really gave me some deep thoughts about where we're from. We grew up relatively near the headquarters of Albertsons. Some people may say I'm reaching philosophically or nostalgia wise. Yo, I just thought of something funny. You know how like we eat so much authentic Asian food, but we were just trying mainstream American food. And now you was like, man, if I didn't try it for the video, I might never have had it. All right, guys, okay. in the okay. comments below, let us know what other supermarket we should try, whether it's a supermarket grab and go section or some type of supermarket deli. You guys let us know in the comments below where we should go next, because we do read the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that very special episode of Fun Bros Food. Huge shout out to Nelly Nell Chan. Woo! Until next time, we out. Peace. No, go scare him up. You want me go to? Go do it, do it. No. <laughs>
Yo, they really did not no, run that fast. Sure. They really did not run that fast, man. Five, five, five.